어, WRC 준비하면서 어, 내일부터 한번 어, 시도해 보시기 바랍니다. As you prepare the WRC, may you begin trying this tomorrow. 제 아침에 여러분들 어, 일어나서는 한 10분 정도 어, 여러분이 기도 시간을 가져보기를 바랍니다. Remember get up early in the morning and then for about 10 minutes have time a prayer. 음, 미세먼지가 없는 이상 여러분들 아침에 눈을 뜨면 환기를 시켜야 됩니다. And so unless the weather outside is really bad and there's a lot of particle dust, open up your windows and clear out the air. 그리고 이제 오늘 집에 가거든. 어, 여러분 집에 있는 화장실 있잖아요. 그게 환기통은 24도로 가야 됩니다. And when you go back home, you have your bathroom and there's a fan in the bathroom. Keep that on 24 hours a day. 거기에서 이제 균이 많이 생깁니다. We see a lot of germs develop there. 24 틀어놔야 돼요. So you have to turn that fan on 24 hours a day. 대부분 그렇게 하지 않기 때문에 어, 집에 많이 있는 여자분들이 예, 남자보다 폐암이 더 많은 걸로 확인됐어요. But we see most people do, don't do that and that's why we see that more women who stay at home have twice the amount of lung cancer than men. 주로 이제 음식 만들면서 태우기도 하고 그 다음에 이제 뭐 화장실이라든지 많은 부분들을 여, 여자들이 많이 쓰기 때문에 어, 폐암이 남자보다 훨씬 많습니다. Because it's a lot more the women who are cooking inside the kitchen sometimes they burn food or they're working and they're cleaning the bathroom of the house that's why they have more cases of lung cancer than men. 그러면서 어, 여러분 지금 폐로 호흡을 하고 있을 겁니다. And most of us we are breathing with our lungs. 네, 그러지 말고 배로 해야 됩니다. But you have to do abdominal breathing. 자, 폐로 호흡하는 것은 어, 여러분의 많은 몸에 뇌 이런 데그 살릴 수가 없습니다. That with just our chest breathing we can't revive our bodies or our brains. 네, 조금씩 조금씩 모자랍니다. And so we're always in a deficiency. 이제 아기가 어머니 배 속에 있을 때 Then when infants are in their mother's womb, they breathe through their abdomen. 이제, 이제 이제 But as they grow older, they stop doing that. 여러분들이 그 천천히 호흡하면서 기도하게 되면 어, 한이 뇌는 But if you are quietly praying, praying as you are breathing, then your brain will be ten times better than anyone else. 거기다가 이제 기도하게 되면은 영성이 And on top of that, if you begin to pray, then you really develop your spirituality. 네, 그래서 꼭 아침 일어나면 한 10분 정도만 하세요. And so just 10 minutes a day in the morning. 그리고 밤에 에, 누워서 이렇게 누워서 호흡하기도 좋습니다. 그렇기 때문에 누워서 한 10분 정도만 이렇게 기도하시면 됩니다. And at night, as you're lying down, in one sense, it's better to do breathing while you're lying down. So pray for about 10 minutes. 뭐 혹시 낮에 여러분들이 한, 그, 한 10분 정도 더 가지면 좋고요. 그리만 해도 여러분에게는 굉장한 일이 일어날 겁니다. And if you just do 10 minutes more throughout the day, even with just that, great things will happen to you. 한때 이 부분이 내게 임하도록 기도하는 겁니다. As you do that, you are praying that the triune God will come upon you. That is the three points. 또 이제 호흡을 한번 하면서 이 부분에 아홉 개가 나오죠. And as you are breathing, we have nine points 맞아. regarding the throne. 이 세밀하게 쭉 쪼개서 한 30분 걸립니다. 그런데 여러분들은 그냥 그냥 해도 됩니다. 한 이렇게 하나씩 하나씩 해도 어, 이렇게 아홉 개가 벌써 되죠. And if we can split this up and do it in detail, it takes about 30 minutes to pray. But you can all lump this together. Only 10 minutes. 삼시대 어, 이러면 벌써. And for the three ages, there are also three points. Even with just this, there are 15. And after the age of the universe will come, so we must pray for this. And also the five authorities. 네, 여기서 이제 하나님께 기도 제목이 제기나 하나씩 있다 이렇게 붙습니다. And from here I attach one by one the prayer topics that God gave to me. 아, 다섯 가지 망대죠. I pray for the five partisans. 이거 이제 메시지 나왔으니까 기도 속에 계속 들어가야 됩니다. That we heard that through the message, so it must continue to enter into your prayers. 
다섯 가지 망대 세운 이게 굉장히 중요하니까요. And because these five bardisans are very important. 그다음에 이제 본격적으로 기도해야 될게 세 가지 뜰입니다. And full fledged pray for the three courtyards. 세 가지 뜰이 이 삼칠 치유 서밋이 포함돼 있죠. That when we say three courtyards, two hundred thirty seven nations healing and summit are included. 이러면 다 서른 개쯤 됩니다. Even with just this, there are about thirty points. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 그러니까 여러분이 요구하는 데뭐 천천히 하나씩 이렇게 계속 매일 하다 보면요. 어떤 게 나오나 하면은 one by one every single day as you slowly pray about this and what's going to happen? 요한복음 15장 7절에 이런 말씀이 있습니다. It says this in John chapter 15 verse 7. 너희가 내 안에 거하고 내 말이 너희 안에 거하면. It says that if you remain in me and my words remain in you. 그러면 무엇이든지 이루리라. Then ask whatever you wish and it will be given. 말씀이 내게 임한 거예요. And the word has come upon me. 이런 일이 벌어집니다. These things will happen. 요한복음 14장 26절에는 이런 말씀이 있죠. And in John chapter 14 verse 26 it says this. 보혜사 곧내 이름으로 보낼 성령 그랬습니다. It talks about the counselor, the Holy Spirit sent in my name. 이게 임하게 되면 어떤 일이 일어나는 거 하니까 모든 것을 가르치시고. And when this Holy Spirit comes upon you, He will teach you all things. 모든 것입니다. It's all things. 일부 말입니다. 모든 것을 가르치시고. Not just one part, but all things. 모든 것을 생각나게 하실. And will remind you of everything. 자, 이게 사실이라면 우리는 어떻게 되죠? If this is a fact, then what should we do? 엄청난 재산을 갖고 있는 거죠. That one says we have this tremendous asset. 이걸 누리라 이 말이요. So we need to enjoy this. 모든 것을 가르친다고 돼요. Absolutely, says that he will teach us all things. 그러면 여러분은 학교도 살리고 다 살릴 수 있어. 모든 것을 가르친다고 돼요. Then you can revive your school. You can save everything. He will teach you all things. 모든 것을 생각나게. And also remind you of everything. 요한복음 16, 13 이렇게 돼 있어요. And John chapter 16 verse 13 says this. 진리의 성령이 너에게 임하면 모든 진리 가운데로 인도한다고 돼 있어요. But when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all truth. 성령께서. And the Holy Spirit will do that. 인도하시고 더 중요한 것은. He will guide you, and more importantly. He will tell you what is yet to come. Then that's it. He will tell you what is yet to come. No reason for you to go counseling anywhere. No reason to wander around. No reason to ask anyone else because the Holy Spirit will teach you other things that are yet to come. Jesus, me. It's what Jesus directly said. Jacob was saying. 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 Jacob was Then, as you do that, those things will follow. Other people don't know, but you do. So that's how you become a leader. That right now you are the leader of watchmen. Wherever you go, even though there are adults there, you know it better than the adults. And so, pretending as if you're simply running their errands, you could lead the adults. Isn't that so? Pretending as if you are serving your parents, you're actually leading them. You go to church and it looks as if you are simply running the errands, but you are leading them. Now, how amazing is this promise? But not believing this, we are worse off than unbelievers because we don't believe. But I believe this. I believe this 100%. And I prepare my message through this. I do everything with this. 
And even evangelism strategy comes from here. And, and so what is there to fear? Just pray. And they enter into this main theme for the school of the message. Just do forum and look up the things in the Bible and talk with one another. However, I only pinpoint things that you must know in our lecture one. It talks about the conviction of salvation. But if you look in Ephesians 1 verse 4, it was prepared before creation. Now what does this mean? It was before creation. Even before you were born, God prepared the gospel. It's amazing, isn't it? You need to confirm this. And then the content of salvation. And we need to take a look at this. It's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. There are many important points in the book of Ephesians. And the first is Ephesians 1, verse 4. And then if you look at lecture 3, it's the mystery of purpose. And then the reason why we use the word purpose in English is because when you do something, when you act on something, there is an intention behind that. And then we call that purpose in English. And so think about it. If I am carrying this item, yes, this item is important. But what is my intent? What is my purpose for carrying this item? And so it's the mystery of purpose. That God gave us this mystery. And so how did he give this mystery? And lecture four, what is the true battle that we have as disciples? That people who don't know how to fight spiritual battles, they do a lot of physical battles. But those who know how to fight the spiritual battle, well, there's no reason for them to battle over the physical things. Even if you just let that alone, you will win. And so if you know the spiritual things, you don't have to fight the spirit, the physical battles. And so take a look at these points. And especially let me discuss this in our first lecture. God created only mankind in his image. Not animals, only mankind. That he didn't make us like a machine, but he gave us a will. I think but if you were like robots and we have to believe in God, then rightfully we would believe in God. But God wanted us to believe in him with our own free will. That's how he created us. He didn't make us as a machine. He created us as a human. He created us in his image. And that's why we can potentially fall away. The machines, they won't become corrupt, but we can. And 
And so think about it. Even if we have the potential to fall away, we need to have our own will to come before God. That's why God did not make us as machines. And so God gave the covenant to look to him represented by the fruit of knowledge of good and evil and he told them not to eat it, but they did. But the Almighty God, he knew that as well. That's why he prepared the gospel in advance. Before creation. It's a little difficult to understand these words. Even before you were born, even before Adam and Eve, God create God gave the gospel. When did Satan appear? Now we don't know. But absolutely he existed before Adam and Eve. Isn't that so? And they say, and he was just waiting for his time, and then when the time came, he attacked Adam and Eve. 그래서 이 부은이라고 하는 거는 어마 막바로 하나님이 묻지도 않고 답변했다는. And immediately the salvation is so amazing. God did not even ask; He just gave it. Genesis 3:15. 그래서 어, 많은 사람 가운데 여러분도 하나님이 언제쯤 구원받아서 어떻게 생활을 가도록. And so just like all the people, just like you sitting here, God knew when and how he would save you that. He predestined that. If that is so, then we should truly give thanks to him. Because his salvation is amazing. That we had no choice but to utterly perish because we were caught in Genesis 3, 6, and 11. We were stuck in there. But he made it so we can escape from that. 자 이런 부분 놓고 여러분이 조금 어, 성경을 좀 자세히 보면서 좀 포럼 필요합니다. And so looking at those points, look carefully at the Bible and do forum on that. 도대체 구원이 뭐냐? 어느 만큼 감격이? What exactly is salvation? The more you know, the more you will be convicted. More amazingly. 큰 잘못을 하거나 위기가 왔을 때. That when you do something greatly wrong or when you face a crisis, for those who have not received salvation, they perish because of that. But the saved children of God, they are renewed by that. When a hardship comes, you don't have to talk all that much about it because it's an opportunity for renewal. For the saved children of God, when a great hardship comes to you, it's all opportunities for renewal. The Holy Spirit allows you to realize. That you don't have to talk all that much about your parents' wrongdoings. You know, they'll know. That rather, when you address that, they'll lie because they want to avoid that. And so how did God save us? He solved our past problems. If you look in Ephesians 2 verse 1, it says, But as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, and it's from there that he saved us. And he solved your current problems. You are following after the ruler of the kingdom of the air. That is Satan, but he liberated you from that. He also solved your future problems. And so it's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Together with Christ, you are seated in heaven. That is not, it's not wrong what many people say, oh, I believe in Jesus now so that when you die, you can get to go to heaven. Those words are right, but it's not the accurate answer. If you believe in Jesus, when you die, 
하나님 자녀돼요. You automatically go to heaven, so don't be too concerned about that. The moment you believe in Jesus, you become a child of God. 과거 문제 해결. Now you don't just get to go to heaven; all your past problems are solved. 지금 사단에게 묶인데. Right now you are bound by Satan, but you are liberated from that. Your fate itself has changed. I don't know. Yes, we got to go to heaven. Why don't we believe it? 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 And so we don't just get to go to heaven when we die. And we're not going to die right now. That's a very strange way to approach this. So you must remember. This is salvation. 자 경륜의 비밀은 뭡니까? Then what is the mystery of purpose? 하나님께서 우리에게 성령으로 역사하사 모든 걸다 가지고 That God works upon us by His Holy Spirit to teach us all things. 이미 여기 나왔어요. We already spoke about it in the book of John. 도대체 이해도 못 하는 말이야. 그래서 기도하는 겁니다. 성령께서 우리의 모든 걸다 인도하시고. And there are words that unbelievers cannot even understand. That's why we pray. The Holy Spirit teaches us all things. 그 정도가 아닙니다. It goes beyond that. 하나님은 우리를 영적인 축복을 주는 상속자로 삼으셨어요. And spiritually, He gave us blessings. He called us as heirs. 그리고 하나만 더 알면 돼요. And just know one more thing. 교회라고 하는 것은 여러분 전체가 한 몸이 된 것이 교회입니다. And for the church, all of us together have become one body. 이거 마음 비밀이죠. It's this amazing mystery. 그리고 또 이거 이게. 나왔어요. 어떤 사람은 목사로, 어떤 사람은 교사로, 어떤 사람은 뭐 시민들 세운데 기타 하나예요. And so it says in this chapter, the some have been called as pastors, some as teachers, and others their own position. But all together, we are one church. 전부 한 소망, 한 사랑, 전부 하나로 한 세례, 한 믿음 다 이렇게. That we have one hope, one faith, one love. We have one baptism. 여기 어마어마한 비밀이 있네. That we are one body. There is a tremendous mystery in the church. 그래서 복음 모르는 사람들은요 교인들끼리 막 원수지고 싸우고 이랍니다. 그그 복음 몰라서 그래요. And those who don't know the gospel among the church members, they act as if they're enemies and they fight. That's because they don't know the gospel. 진짜 원수인 사람이다. 그 사람 구원받고 내가 구원받고 남 천국 가면 늘늘 같이 있어야 되는데. I think what if that person really is your enemy, but you receive salvation, and that person receives salvation, once you both die, you're gonna spend eternity in heaven together. 교회를 가는 거는 여러 성도가 하나 된걸 보고. That the church, that is a gathering of all different kinds of believers. That the building itself is a church building. But this is the church. You must remember this mystery. That we only have one battle, and that is the battle against Satan. The reason? The reason? 정사와 근세와 어둠의 세상 주관들 움직입니다. That this Satan he moves the rulers and authorities in the dark in the darkness. 아예 정치 자체를 움직일 버려 사단. That he moves politics itself. That's what Satan does. 정사. That he's called the authorities. 그리고 근세. And also the rulers. 힘 있는 사람을요 사단이 자꾸 움직일 버려. And so Satan keeps on moving those who have power. 예를 들어서 막 대통령 있는 사람들요 왕 있는 사람을 사단이 잡고 움직. For example, the presidents as well as kings, he Satan holds on to them and he moves them. And that's why God tells us to pray against the powers of this dark world. We're talking about darkness, crime. Satan moves those people. Absolutely, that's what it says. Isn't that so? That's why he's telling us to fight. We must fight the spiritual battle. This is it. 뭐 순수들을 위해서부터 보면 돼요. And so just look at this in order. 투구. That we've got our helmet. 구원의 확신. Is the assurance of salvation. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 의의 흉배. And it's talking about the breastplate of righteousness. 구원의 감격. It's talking about the conviction of salvation. And our shield, our faith, 
We have our sword. Marsam. That's the word. E. Marsam. Sangderer. At the word not only overcomes Satan, but it also saves us. It's two things. That's what the word does. And then we have our belt, the belt of truth. And then our shoes. It's talking about the shoes of the gospel. And if you don't have shoes, it's difficult to walk around, and they must fit your feet. In that same way, it is the gospel, the shoes of the gospel. Having all this, you do one last thing. All of us have our cell phones. And you pray continuously. And so already the cell phone is mentioned back then. Pray continuously in the Spirit. This is how we armor ourselves. And this is how we begin praying, but we have a different goal. That our goal is watchmen. If you become the watchman, all day, all night, that's 24 hours. And so as a watchman, you stand guard 24 hours a day. And if you can pray the watchman's prayer, you will gain tremendous power. And once that happens, you can conquer the world. You must remember. That you can conquer everything. If this prayer were to take place. And so I enjoy this as my prayer topic, 24 hours a day. But honestly, it's difficult to do this 24 hours a day. But still, 24 hours a day. And you become a watchman. It's not difficult at all. It truly empowers you. Really, the power is given to you, and then you can transcend time and space and healing. And this is this year's theme. The Remnant Conference theme. That it is our 25-hour remnant partisan. We can move the throne with that. Give the Lord no rest. Of course the Lord doesn't rest, and there's no way we can stop him from resting, but that's how he expressed it. Give the Lord no rest. That's what it means to be a watchman. All day and all night, do not rest in your prayers. Because the Lord does not rest. And so if you really gain this answer, then truly, that's it. And in the introduction, yes, we are praying that way so we can really organize and arrange the word inside of us, but honestly, it's about 24 hours. Even just a little bit, our remnants may you restore this, and in that manner, participate in the World Remnant Conference. And may the works arise when the church changes because of you, one remnant. It's possible. If you, one person, receive answers, even your household will change. And so seek out this prayer. That's all you need. And so God has called you as a watchman to save this age. Don't listen to the false words. Hold to the word. People say all kinds of things. Don't listen to that. Hold to the word. Don't listen to demonic words. Hold to the word of God. You are remnants. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. 
You granted us this remnant day. May you raise remnants to save the entire world all over the world. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.